Colorado, went down to the bayou for this signee, Karan Bayhem from John Arrett High School in the New Orleans area, officially a buff sign his letter of intent. He had uh, 10 total offers, five from power conference schools, was a Missouri commitment for a while, a Joe Tumpkin recruit. Uh, jump, Joe Tumpkin's getting it done on the recruiting trail in his first year in Boulder. My word for Karan Bayhem is baller. This is a guy that played quarterback in high school, projects as a cornerback. You just put on his film and go, this is a guy that makes plays and is going to potentially be an instant impact guy at Colorado as long as he's 100% recovered from that ACL injury. Yeah, that's the only question mark for me. You look at him on film, he's going to walk onto campus as one of the fastest guys on the team. No question about it. He's an elite athlete. Um, if he comes back healthy, there's no chance they don't find a way to get him on the field in my eyes. He is super shifty. He is unbelievable top-end speed. Um, you know, Louisiana kid, they just have a different level of confidence in my eyes. That's what I've seen in the past. So for me, he's a kid that I think guys, we should definitely expect to play right away if he's ready, if his knee checks out. You have Karan Baham ranked among your top seven signees for Colorado this recruiting cycle. You talked about kind of the Louisiana athlete. That, that's an area that at times you can recruit those guys and there's a little bit of a culture shock, but when it works, it seems to really work with those guys. And uh, it's a different level of speed. It's not necessarily you're going to put a clock on them and they're going to run the 4-4, but it's football speed that those guys have down in that area. Karan Baham, officially a buff.